Welcome guys back to another Unreal Engine tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use the custom landscape creation, Instant Terra. So the first thing we're going to have to do is create a new folder. I'll call this Levels. And then let's open it up, create a level. I'm going to call this Main Level. And then open that up. Uh, save. Then you need to go to your landscape tool and then just hit create. You don't have to change anything else. And here we go. Now we have a world. And then just to make just so that we can see, drag out some light, raise it a bit. And then get some atmospheric fog. Yes, there we go. Just to make the background look nicer. Then, with your Instant Terra plugin enabled, right click your landscape and then hit Create Instant Terra Project. And it's loading. It only takes about a minute. Okay. And once it finishes loading, okay, here's the default Instant Terra project. You can change it however you want. I'm gonna make probably make a tutorial series later on showing how to change everything in this. But for now, we can just use the default one. So then, just hit Send to Unreal. Then back in the Unreal Engine, go go to it, and then hit OK. and then hit OK, and then hit OK, and then we're all done, and now we should see our terrain load. Oh, it's way up there. And here we go. Now we have this cut, this really cool custom terrain, but there's one problem with it, that everything looks like super snowy. But there's a way to fix it after a bit of messing around. See, everything just looks weird. Yeah, so then go back, go into your Instant Terra textures. Nope. I don't want source control. Go to your textures. Where is it? Oh, no. Go to your material. And then disconnect um, these three layers disk break layer snow break layer sentiment and layer flow okay hit apply save it and then if we go back now we can see that everything looks better see this is like really the best that you're going to get the textures looking once the shaders finish compiling it should look better And then another way I've found to make it look better is to just go into your visual effects and drag out some sphere reflection captures. Let's make this a lot bigger. Not a lot bigger, not a lot smaller. And perfect. And then also just drag out some post process volume. Up here. There. Okay. I don't know if it helps, but I just think it looks a little better. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, because you need to set the solid as thing. And that's the end of today's tutorial. I just showed you guys how to create a texture or a map in Unreal in Instant Terra and how to import it into Unreal Engine. 